Hi everyone and welcome to Bag of Paper YouTube channel with me Darren Mulligan. In this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and also an introduction to the practice chapter which we'll be playing in the steps learning to play the Highland Bagpipes. So I started learning the Highland Bagpipes at the age of 11 with a local pipe band called Brady Pipe Band here in Northern Ireland and Gradually up through the years, playing in a junior band and then playing in the senior band, I then went on and studied folk and traditional music at Newcastle University, where I got to learn a good range of styles and different music from all across the world. I'm now a teacher in schools here in Northern Ireland, teaching over 120 kids how to play the Highland Bagpipes. So the practice chapter is the first step in learning the Highland Bagpipes. Before we learn the full Highland Pipes, we learn on this instrument here, which is a lot quieter and which your parents will be glad of, or your housemates. It also helps with learning how to play tunes and what we have to do with our fingers first. Now there's many different types of practice chanters you can buy, whether it be wooden or plastic. What I would recommend is not to purchase a practice chanter off stores like eBay or Amazon, because sometimes they're not the proper ones and the quality can be quite poor. What I'll recommend is, I'll put the links below in the video where you can purchase a decent quality chanter and you can get them from £20 up as far as £150 to £200 depending on the decoration or the finish you want. Now this cool looking one with cool blue and black stripes in the wood, this is done by Maverick Chanters in Glasgow and it is a quite a funky looking chanter and also is good quality and sounds pretty good. There are various size chanters available on the market. For children you can buy a kids chanter which is slightly smaller and has small spaces between the holes. And these are ideal for children up to the age of 12, 13 years old, where their fingers are just that little bit smaller. Then you have the standard size chanter, which is pretty much standard size spaces between the holes, which is good for young people or adults. And then also you can go a full length chanter, which extends slightly longer, which represents the spacing on the chanter on the full Highland bagpipes. So to play the practice chanter, we first have to make sure we place our fingers in the right position. Now when we're playing the bagpipes, we don't use the tips of our fingers, we use the pads of our fingers. This middle bit here, okay, the wider part of the fingers. Because the holes in the chanter are quite large, and to be able to play in quick succession and cover the holes, we use the widest part of our fingers. So when we place our fingers on the practice chanter, first of all we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. So we're going to take our right hand, and we're going to place, first of all, our pinky at the very bottom hole. Then we're going to place the next finger on nice and flat above that, followed by your middle finger and your index finger. Now you want to make sure that your fingers are nice and flat, not curled up like this, nice and flat over the holes, and then place your thumb directly behind your middle finger. Then with a little bit of pressure, you should be able to hold the practice chanter then in one hand like this. Now moving on to your top hand, we have our left hand. So give us a thumbs up, then turn it down to the right and place it over the thumb here at the back. Then you're going to take your index finger, place it over the top hole, the middle finger over the second hole, and then your ring finger over the third hole. And then that completes all the holes on the chanter are completely covered. And that gives us our first note, which is low G. Now when all the holes are covered properly, you should get a low sound like this. Now if you get sounds like this, that means the holes aren't covered properly. So check your fingers again, check the holes, making sure they're all flat and every hole is completely covered. And you should end up with a nice low side like that. Okay, and if you're finding it still squeaking, slightly move your fingers across or make sure that they're completely flat. So a challenge for you is to give your hands a shake, put them on the chanter and play low G. Now I want you to repeat this three times, and then once you have it for the third time, you pretty much have got a good low G. So then you're ready to move on to our next video, which is learning our bottom hand notes. So click subscribe, and you can keep up to date with all our latest tuition videos, follow along, and learn how to play the Highland Bagpipes.